there's a big learning curve for uh, John and I, I think, um, in learning how animation works and how it's done and and how it's sort of uh, built. So that I think was the bigger challenge for us, but the, the working remotely thing, uh, sadly to me, doesn't feel super different. Um, I don't know if that's good or bad. I feel like I've sort of been in a quarantine uh, headspace for a while maybe. Part of what's what was crazy about it is trying to find like the look of the show, right? Like the animators were who probably weren't super familiar with the show anyway. I mean, they're working in London and, and Atlanta and and they're sort of giving us images of what these scenes might look like. And you know, we were in a constant conversation with what does the show look like? Are we are we super close? You know, is it uh are the frames all kind of dirty with drifting, you know, glass and windows moving in front of the frame? Like where do you put the camera? Or how can you, you know, part, part of what was exciting about it was trying to figure out, well, what couldn't we do if we were really shooting this? Like we have a scene that involves a helicopter and an escape. In production, we never would have been able to do something as fun as what we're able to do in the episode. There's a couple sequences like that where we're like, all right, well, this scene was supposed to take place in some secret apartment. Could we set it on the Washington Mall? In some ways, it was fun to sort of open the show up and do things that we typically can't do just because uh, of the restrictions of production. No, but it is, it is true. There's people could, like, you know, working with London, we're, uh, you know, ha we're having a couple phone calls a day with the different animators wherever they are in all these crazy time zones where we'll we'll get a cut, you know, uh, first, you know, really late at night. We'll watch it first thing in the morning. We'll sort of have whatever our notes are, then hop on a quick conversation. and so. While you know, while one team is sleeping, the other is watching or working on the animation, and vice versa. And so, it really has been a, a, a sort of twenty-four hour process where, around the clock, people have been chipping away at it in in all kinds of versions. Whether it's the actors, you know, recording their dialogue wherever they are, with James, uh, Diego, Megan, uh, the a couple of the guest uh, players in the episode. It, it's literally like John and I sitting there, they're sending out, uh, you know, their first pass of it. And John and I are sitting on a Zoom call, you know, Googling Diego, looking at uh, different photos going, well, wait a minute, is his hair sort of like this? I think the, the bridge of his nose may be a little bit different. You know, so we're sort of deconstructing uh, what all the actors look like. And everyone's chiming in from the editors to John and I to the animators. And so we did. We had a, a number of passes where each day we would look at a character and sort of, uh, you know, note it and try to find what the essence of, of, you know, that character looked like. And not only doing that, but also trying to do it in a way that felt like a graphic novel, that felt like the animated cartoon version of the show. We did lean quite a bit into, as the process went on, we leaned into that sort of uh, graphic novel feel. We realized, oh, wow, again, these are, there's, there's different, looks and colors and sort of just the the tone of the of the episode uh, you know with some of the the little blocks of text that pop up or you know the the slugs at the top of a scene that says where we are meanwhile back at the national mall you know little things like that that as we're going through the episode start speaking to you you know you kind of listen to it and it starts like how how do we make this feel more like a like a comic book